On Lou tonight, a face-off between a South Florida man and his former employer. He claims they're putting his picture on billboards across the area, but he's not getting paid for it. So he called Help Me Howard with Patrick Frazier. He has the tattoos around his neck and his hands. Add in his dreadlocks, and Celestino Rivera knows some people might see him coming and say, uh-oh. Trust me, I know about that a lot. You get that a lot. A lot. Especially I got the dreaded twos, but until they see my personality and who I am, they'd be like, oh, he's a good guy. A great guy who likes to have fun. And that's why he applied to be a scary clown at the House of Horror and Doral back in 2013. That first day, I killed it. The people who came to be scared at House of Horror loved Celestino, and he loved being there. Oh, of course. You know what it is to wake up and what do you do, scare people for a living? I wouldn't change it for the world. Celestino worked a part-time job at the Halloween show in 2013 and 14. Then 2017 rolled around. My friend telling me, hey, you know you're on a billboard. It's everywhere. It's not just on a billboard. It's like on the highway or you see it on flyers. Celestino's scary face is on radio station websites for House of Horror. The billboards are all over. At the 836, another one off Brickell, and this one outside the International Mall. Hold on, my face is pictured being everywhere, like why I'm not getting confiscated for anything. Nobody's paid you anything? No, nothing. Not only is Celestino not being paid as the face of House of Horror, he says no one told him or even asked for permission to use his picture. They could have talked to me about it, they could have said something to me or sent me an email or be like, would you mind this? Celestino says he just filled out a job application in 2013 and doesn't remember anything on that paper that would give them permission to use his face in their ads. Your face is being used for them to make money. Pretty much. And you're not making a dime. Nothing, not a penny. Celestino doesn't know who took this picture of him. A lot were snapped back then, but he says if you're gonna use his face and not pay him, it's not fair. No, of course not. Of course it's not fair. I mean, how would you feel you had your face up there? Well, Howard, these are the billboards with Celestino's face. Can a business use his image without his permission? They cannot use your picture, your likeness, your voice for commercial purposes without your permission. You have to affirmatively say that they can, either verbally or in writing. If they don't get permission, they have to remove it and compensate you. I spoke to the owner of House of Horror. Nelson Alboreda said Celestino did not notify them that he did not want his face on the billboards. He said Celestino did sign the application, giving them the right to use his picture. Alboreda told me he would send me that signed application. He did not, then quit responding to emails and phone messages. Howard says that brings up the next step. Now comes the hard part. If they cannot agree on compensation, both sides would have to go to court to decide how much Celestino's photograph is worth. The owner of House of Horrors told me he would take Celestino's face off their billboards. But if they cannot produce a signed release to use his picture, Celestino hopes to agree on a fee with him because he says he was a memorable clown. I was the very best. I'm not going to admit that. But you're not getting paid for it. That's what's bothering me. And we'll let you know what happens with Celestino. Now, the lesson here, read that job application, because while they may want to hire you, you want to know what can happen down the road. Horrified at a problem that's scaring you? Feel like you're painted into a corner? Face it with us. We don't have to use tricks or treats to help you, because Howard's legal knowledge is frightening. All right, he has a law degree. With this help me, Howard, I'm Patrick Frazier, 7 News.